What's up, world, and welcome to Baller Chat TV. We know the game with the Spurs versus the Jazz on March 11th was historic. The Spurs were able to defeat the Jazz 104-102. This allowed Greg Popovich to secure the most wins by a head coach in NBA history. And to make this more special, Greg has been with the San Antonio Spurs for years. So I think it was pretty cool for him to get this title with an organization where he coached the majority of his games. He was only with Golden State for about two years. So basically social media was on fire. Everybody was congratulating him, including Don Harris, who pointed out that he passed up Don Nelson for most wins of all time. And this isn't new to him. He was already the leader in wins for regular season and playoff games combined. So when you add up that 1336 plus the playoff games, so you'll see he won a total of 1500 games as a head coach. That's legendary to me. What you think? The NBA made a comment. They gave him a shout out saying Greg has won more games than any coach in NBA history. And that speaks volumes, man. He's like super dedicated to the San Antonio Spurs and he's been there for so many years. Other people gave him love, such as LeBron James, who said, Coach Pop, congratulations, number one all-time wins. DeJounte Murray also posted, saying, you're the greatest coach of all time, and I'm thankful and grateful for you, Pop. I love you so much, and you deserve this, and can't nobody ever take this away from you. And that's big coming from one of his key players right now. We all know DeJounte Murray's history and how skeptical people were to give him a chance in the NBA, but the Spurs organization and Pop did, so that's major for him to give his coach a shout out. Look, Greg did so good. He even got love from Kendrick Perkins, who said congratulations to the great Greg Pop. Now, you know there's always going to be a head in the building. And it's none other than Skip Bayless. He said, congratulations on becoming the NBA's all-time winning coach. But deserving significant credit for this honor are one, Tim Duncan, the most underappreciated superstar leader ever. And two, R.C. Buffett, the NBA's best GM who stole Ginobili, Parker, and Kawhi in the draft. Now, why be ahead of Skip? He just can't let nobody have their moment. Everybody in the world is aware that the GM basically call the shots. However, they're not calling the plays. That was all Coach Pop. So I don't know why Skip Bayless felt the need to include that information. You know, he already have enough going on. But I'm pretty sure Tim Duncan, Ginobili, Parker, Kawhi all know that they were appreciated by their coach. And helping him get to where he is today is a team effort. You know, the coaches benefit from the players and the players benefit from the coaches. Let me know if you agree in the comments. And you know how this go on social media. If you enjoyed this content, please be sure to like it. Please be sure to leave me a comment and subscribe or follow depending on what platform you're using. Until next time, y'all.